Are you for Armani? Yeah. is in midtown i texted a few girlfriends and was like hey boo i'm in town doing some apartment hunting i was like if y'all are getting into anything let me know i'm trying to see what the social scene is looking like so some of my friends sent me some stuff that's happening uh, my friend nia invited me to her friend's uh pool party that is happening today i'm gonna go to that i wasn't prepared for that so i'm not gonna be in nobody's bathing suit i'm probably just gonna wear a denim skirt and a cute top and hopefully my twist out comes out cute y'all i have not done a twist out in so long so i'm nervous i hope i look like a bad bitch when I do my makeup and it all just comes together i need to hurry up and get ready because this pool party starts at four and it's currently 3 30 so we gotta move we gotta move but i'm excited to like be here and just like have fun and just like scope things out and see what's up so let's get ready let's take a shower let's do other things and yeah bye Okay, girls, you can't see my face. Now you can't. Okay, so I have y'all on the bed right now. But yeah, y'all, look at my freaking three strand twist out that I did last night before I freaking flew out to Atlanta. Like, the natural Amani, she's coming all the way back. Like, well, she's always been here, but like, natural hairstyles, like twist outs and shit, she's coming back because what? Like, she is a different girl. Like, hello, let me reintroduce myself because y'all haven't met her. The newbies here have not met this girl. <laughs> All the products and the method will be linked in the description below so you guys can like check that out. So this is the fit for the pool party. I was not prepared, but I think this still kind of works. So this is like some knitted top from some boutique I got like two years ago. I got some clear heels on and then I got this bag from Target but I'm gonna wear this bag it don't really go but it's the best that I got right now also the makeup deeds lip combo the whole nine will be linked below as well but I feel cute I look cute I'm ready to get outside and have some fun for once bye Happy Sunday. Y'all, my period came. Girl, my period came last night and I have not been like super consistent with my birth control before this cycle. So usually leading up to when my period's gonna come, like I start to feel a little bit crampy. 
um, like a few days before my period comes and like that didn't happen so I wasn't expecting it to come. Thankfully I was able to find some ibuprofen last night so I took that and just knocked out um, and I'm just waking up and it is like 10 right now. But last night I went out with my girl Nia for her friend's birthday. She had like a pool party on a rooftop but it was cool, cool vibes but I was exhausted y'all. I was up yesterday since 2 a.m. because my flight was at like 6 something and it was just a long day so I ended my night kind of early but on the brighter side today is apartment tour day so today I'm going to be touring three different apartments I'm going to take you guys with me and we're going to see so here's a tea on the moving process right now I am debating between Atlanta or Brooklyn New York okay two totally different vibes two totally different energies and i'm torn between the two so i did actually find an apartment in brooklyn that i really really liked um and we're just waiting to hear back from them i think i'm gonna hear back tomorrow on like details and updates um and today we're gonna be touring three different apartments in atlanta and then monday we're gonna be touring i think one or two different apartments so we have some options here in atlanta whereas in new york i only seen this one apartment new york in the apartment searching like it's crazy over there pricing has gone up so drastically since i was living there three years ago new york has gone to the point where like i almost cannot afford it and it's kind of like crazy in order for me to find a two bedroom two bath or even a one bedroom one bath in a decent area that's like either in close proximity to the city or even in like the city of Manhattan. Girl, we're looking at like three grand, $3,500, $4,000 a month in rent for something decent with like stainless steel appliances, like revamped, renovated everything. Like that's how much you're looking at in Brooklyn. Brooklyn, not even like in Manhattan, bro. The housing market right now, it's like, it's really crazy and it's just like kind of scary. Like the shit needs to change. But obviously, you know, here in Atlanta, it's definitely a lot more affordable. Um, the apartments that you're gonna see today are definitely within the range of like between two grand and like 2,600. Um, so definitely within my budget, but like shit. Um, yeah so we're gonna tour today i'm excited to tour i'm just kind of moody because my period is here but nonetheless i am excited so i'm gonna get up and shower get dressed all of my tours are back to back um the first one starts at one and then the last one ends at three i think so i'll keep you girls updated bye twist out honey let's get into it like it's some little pieces here that's getting to my nerves but let's get into it okay day two here this Mizani curl stretch cream and their defining gel those two together I link them in the description below for all my natural hair girlies who be doing their twist styles and all of that because baby don't play with them. It's giving fluffy but still defined. And that's exactly what we love. That's what we love. This is me, hair, makeup, glasses on, simple fit. I got on this um, Zara cream button up with these jeans that I just have on my black Chelsea boots. Um, but yeah, so let's go ahead and tour apartments.
good. All of like fully like, but I think I. Hey girl, I am back at my hotel and honey, first and foremost, I need to eat, okay? Y'all know my period came, so we gotta do the good comfort food, okay? I went to this place called Farm Burger. I don't know, my ATLians, whatever y'all call ATL native people. My ATLers, if y'all have been here before, let me know. So as you can see, I did insert some um, apartments that I toured. Um, I'm not gonna insert all of them or the ones that I really, really like, just because I have a feeling I might go with one of them. So you know, I gotta, I gotta protect my safety at all costs, okay? Can't give too much away. But yeah, so since I've been touring, I gradually started to like feel like, okay, maybe I could see myself living here. Like honestly, truly, I'm like a city girl at my core. So like with New York, like that's really my speed, really my pace and I love it. But to be fair, I have lived in New York already. I'm just like, why not try somewhere else new that I have not yet lived in before and just give it a try. And if I don't like it, we could head on back to Brooklyn. I'm still young. I don't got no kids. I don't got no major responsibilities, you know? Like, I feel like it's best for me to just like live in different areas while I'm young to see what I like while I have the opportunity to do that, you know? But honestly, truly, I am torn. However, I will say the vibes at these apartments that I've been touring, the people have just been so friendly. The hospitality, just so warm, so inviting, so welcoming. That's really fucking refreshing, okay? And them being black people at that, like that warms my heart. But yeah, y'all, I seen one unit, crazy amenities. Like building is basically brand new and they're doing a special. And with the special, it damn near takes off like $400 off the rent per month. Like. So what my budget was in comparison to what I could be paying if I go with this particular unit, way under my budget. So not only do we get to get something cute, we get to get something super fucking affordable. You can't beat that. You cannot beat that. Come on now. But yeah, so I'm gonna be doing dinner tonight with one of my guy friends from back in Connecticut. Completely forgot that he lives here, but it's gonna feel really good to just like connect and get together with a familiar face out here. I'm excited. I just think that throughout this process, it's important for me to stay super open-minded. I don't know, what y'all think? Every time I talk to my friends about it, they're always like, do what's in your heart. Some of my friends feel like New York fits me so much better than Atlanta. Some people say Atlanta will look good on me. I don't know girls, talk to me. Talk to me in the comments. What are we thinking? What's the emotion? Talk to me, talk to me. But I'm about to finish eating my food, call my mama, give her tea on the ATL ventures. And then I'm gonna take me a nap because I'm super fatigued. Y'all know how day one of your period go. So I'm gonna catch up with y'all when it's time for dinner. I'm beat and I'm tired, so bye. It's been really tough. It's been really tough to sit. That is no one's fault but my own and just be I'll show you the apartments and you can tell me which ones you like. It's been so long since we've seen each other. Like Virgil's Gullah Kitchen and Bar. Actually, West Midtown. I can't tell. Rock steady, baby. Rock steady. What's that rock steady? What's happening here? I don't know. Good times, good music, good food, good vibes. We're gonna yeah, see. Baby. It's Sunday night and I I got cramps. <laughs> I need to be in my hotel, but we're gonna see, we gonna see. Well, we only pay for two hours parking, so we so definitely two hours, see. two hours max. <laughs> what you do? What you checking? I said, I said, oh, so you telling me that you wasn't <laughs> Oh, it's, it's kind of bad. Oh, it's kind
drinks is three. It's like five or three dollars. They be strong. It's yeah, because the alcohol is cheap. <laughs> don't nobody want no cheap alcohol in my period. Absolutely not. I don't go. I've been, I've been to Bulldogs one time to be honest with you. I don't know that other gay club we went to, but that one was cool. It's a lot of people that be parking lot pimping out here, like, like rolling deep in Target parking lot. Good morning, girls. Happy Monday. It is going on 11 a.m. And I'm actually about to head to Momo Cafe and go and get a matcha latte and just get some editing done. I have a campaign to submit for today and just some other organic content to edit, YouTube blogs, all of that. Um, but yeah, I'm feeling kind of moody. I think it's just like the PMS, all of that. I think once I go outside, get some vitamin D, get some sunlight, get the blood flow on our walk to this cafe, you know? I think that'll help. But we gotta get into this day three here. Like, it's still defined. It's getting fluffier and fluffier. And I'm a fan. I'm a fan. I love, I love. One of these days, I'm gonna do a full on three string twist tutorial for y'all. I just had to make sure that I still had it in me. Okay, and clearly, I do. <laughs> but yes, let's go ahead and get our matcha and go for a nice sunny morning walk. And do we do. Bye. Can I order an iced strawberry matcha latte with oat milk? Alright, so strawberry matcha with the oat milk? Yes. And then? Um, that's all. all Girls, good morning. It is 3.55 a.m. And honey, these last 24 hours here in Atlanta have been something else. I'll tell you that much, okay? I was just feeling so fatigued and groggy from my cycle. Child, I thought I lost half of my vlog footage. Literally had a meltdown and started crying yesterday because I thought I lost my footage. Like, I don't understand. Like... Now that I'm a content creator full time, like I cannot afford to just be losing footage. Like that's not that's not okay. <laughs> Thankfully, the software that I downloaded, which cost me like 80 bucks, gotta do what you gotta do. Um, I got my files back, um, and yeah. But on a brighter note, yesterday I did apply for an apartment. Um, so yes, I put in my application for an apartment. Hopefully I hear back later this week and then we can start putting things really in motion to like make this move. So I know I was telling you guys how like New York was an option, which it was because I found a cute apartment in Brooklyn and basically they wanted to like interview me for the apartment. I was like, one, this is weird. So I get on the Zoom call and he's like asking me questions like, what will make you a good candidate for this um, apartment? I said, excuse, well, I didn't say this, but in my mind, I'm like, this can't be real. I will understand if this was like some lottery housing, affordable housing situation, but like, it was not that. I'm just like, yo, the housing market is already fucked up real bad. And you out here interviewing people for an apartment like it's a job? Something about that just felt real capitalist. It felt real classist. I don't know. I just, I wasn't getting jiggy with it. Not only that, but the rent that the unit was advertised for was not even what the actual, like, gross amount was. And I'm just like, 
what's going on here like wh why why so pretty much everything about that apartment was just like no the apartment has to be like 500 square feet and it was actually going for three grand and i was just like hold on in brooklyn and this wasn't even like in bedside this wasn't in no like prospect height this was in flatbush you're charging people three grand to stay in flatbush for 500 square feet get out of here like Mm -mm. reevaluate reevaluate so when he told me that i was like yeah this is not gonna work for me and i'm no longer interested but thank you for your time and consideration the housing market in new york city really everywhere but new york city i think it's time that we as a society band together and just stop paying our rent what they gonna do what are they gonna do if we go just stop paying our rent? It's only gonna work if we collectively decide to just stop. We can't have the goody two shoes. We can't have a handful of the good apples that say, no, we need to pay our rent. No, we just collectively need to decide that like we're not paying our rent no more. Y'all gonna have to give us what we want. How about that? <laughs> Hey, cause what the hell, man? All right, y'all, it's literally going on 4 a.m. and I need to get to the airport and go check in and go through TSA and all of that. So let's go ahead to the airport. I just want to catch up with you guys on how my day went yesterday. Um, but yeah, so let's go. Is that some good ASMR for y'all? <laughs> hey girl, what it do? I am back home from Atlanta and I made some matcha. It's been a day. My flight was literally delayed for like an hour. Something was wrong with Southwest's um, computer system. So they like grounded all of Southwest flights across the country for like an hour. So that's how my morning now afternoon is going it's 1 31 um, but I'm happy to be back home I'm truly a homebody and I just love being in my own space um, but yeah so I wanted to just catch up with you girls and guys about Atlanta and just kind of where I'm at and just like what's what's going on earlier this morning before my flight I was telling you guys how um, there was potential for me to be moving back to New York going to Brooklyn um, and I'm 
unfortunately like I just don't think that that is feasible or just going to happen um, like I was saying earlier the housing market right now is atrocious and I am praying for anybody like myself also going through the moving process and trying to find a home or an apartment that is decently priced okay so as much as I miss New York and I love New York um, I think I might have to put it to the back seat for this this next chapter in my life I've been talking to my brother my parents and my friends about it and they're like girl you already did Brooklyn already like just try Atlanta at least give it a year and see See, see what happens you never know what could happen and I'm like you know what you're right you're right you're right Atlanta is literally only a two-hour flight to hop over to New York so it's nothing to it it's nothing to it for me to have my Brooklyn New York summer I miss a good New York summer okay I cannot wait for a New York summer this summer so yesterday during my last day in Atlanta after I left Momo Cafe I went back to my hotel and I applied for an apartment that I toured I am super super excited about this apartment the amenities are top tier top notch it's given luxury like in this new chapter I think the biggest themes for me are community and home. I really want to step outside of my shell when I move to Atlanta. As much as I am a homebody, I do want to make sure I'm doing myself justice by putting myself out there and not like passing up on opportunities because it's a new city and I don't really know anybody. So if any of y'all currently live in ATL or you're from ATL, comment below some things that you love to do during the week, on the weekends. Are there farmer's markets for the girlies who love to get their eucalyptus on a Sunday and their fresh fruits and veggies? Like, what's the scene like? Give me the tea, give me the scoop. I would love to know. I feel like this whole chapter of me living in Los Angeles has been like my isolation season and so me moving to Atlanta is going to be a very very interesting transition because I feel like once I'm there like the floodgates are going to open and it's kind of going to be like a shock for me like already this weekend when I was in Atlanta like I met up with my childhood friend I met up with another good friend and she introduced me to her friend group and I'm just like okay this is great and I love it but I'm just so used to working, cooking dinner, doing housewife shit <laughs> with no man, just working, washing dishes, doing laundry, cleaning my apartment, going to bed at eight o'clock and repeating. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I am nervous. Um, this is yet again another new state, another new city for me to explore on my own. Also, when I went out on Sunday night, I seen the most fine men. <laughs> but you know what they say in Atlanta, you gotta be careful cause you don't know which way he go. You don't know. <laughs> but speaking of men in dating, I know we were talking about Mr. Sir that made it to the second date. Newsflash, he actually didn't make it to the second date because he kind of like started backtracking and he started like to kind of ghost me leading up to me going to the convention in Connecticut like he kind of went like radio silent like we would normally kind of like FaceTime each other like every other day or whatever and just like catch up and then he started pulling back and I was like okay this is interesting so when he didn't pick up my FaceTime call and then he went radio silent for a whole week when I got back in town I was like hello hey like what's going on and the only reason why I reached out to him was because he was talking this good talk like oh yeah like I'm really big on communication like if I'm not feeling something like I'm the kind of person who's gonna be straightforward and like let people know I don't got time to be playing around people's feelings ah ah but I had to reach out to you to figure out what the fuck is going on okay okay so yeah I reached out to him and I was just like, hey, I haven't heard from you in a while. Just wanted to check in and see like, what's up? So he reached back out to me. He was just like, hey, Imani, like I'm really occupied with like projects and work and things like that. And I don't want to hold your attention hostage, but I'm still very interested in you. And honestly, my response was, thanks for letting me know. I enjoyed the time that we did have and period. And I left the message at that. And he was like, I did too. And I didn't reply. And I think the reason why I didn't feel like upset or like flustered or annoyed or irritated was because I simply did not have any expectations of what I wanted this to become, who I thought this person could be. And I'm realizing, bitch, I think I just cracked the code to this dating shit. Do not 
do not <laughs> go into any situation with any expectation of what you want this to be, what you want this person to be, what you want this person to do for you. Let it rock. Let them show you who they are. Let them reveal to you who they are in due time. And I just feel like me not having experienced this like feeling of like, I'm pissed off, like, why isn't this working? The why, why, why? Like for me to not feel that just felt so liberating. I'm just really proud of myself because like, this is a situation where I learned from a lesson from my past where I did expect so much of someone else and I immediately attached to someone else. And that did not end well for me mentally and emotionally. <laughs> so for me to kind of be like revisited with a, another similar situation and to see that I kind of like learn my lesson feels really fucking good. And I think the key to this whole journey of like self love and like loving yourself and like seeing if you really have grown on your journey of self love is you have to practice or you have to be in these situations where you're dealing with other people for shit to happen for you to then be able to test your knowledge or your experience or the lessons that you've learned from the past. I'm a true believer in just really not allowing someone or a man or a situation or an experience to make you bitter. And I think this is kind of what I was saying in my vlog where I was venting about singleness and I was talking about wanting to date around and find what I like and what I don't like. And what I meant by dating around, I'm not talking about dating and sleeping with a bunch of men. What I mean is just being able to have these one-on-one -on -one relational experiences with people to be able to test my own growth and my own self-love. Bell Hook said it best, like self-love can only be done in practice. And this is a perfect example of that. You cannot heal relational trauma without being in relation or connection to other people. I just wanted to talk about that because it definitely was something that I have been thinking about um, for a little bit now and how I'm getting ready to transition into like this new city and I'm definitely gonna be open to going on dates and meeting guys, you know, new girl on the black. <laughs> Comment below um, if you have ever, you know, been the girl that allowed a guy to turn you bitter or you have been the girl that was like, no, I'm not going to let this shitty situation make me bitter and I'm going to put myself back out there. Please comment below and let me know what your experiences have been uh, because I feel like on this journey of singleness, it comes with so many ups and downs. And what I want to be known is that I am very, very tired of this agenda that's being pushed that we are better off alone and not being in relationships and not being intimate with other people like we are human beings at our core we need human connection so can we stop the whole girl you better off just being alone and I get that to a certain degree it's better off being alone so that you can protect your heart and you don't deal with heartbreak Okay, boo-boo, how about we shift the perspective to, you know what, this situation really hurt me and this situation really revealed a lot of things that I need to heal. So maybe I'm just gonna put dating and intimacy on a pause. Not I'm gonna give up on this forever because it's giving bitter Nancy's and I'm not trying to be a bitter Nancy's and I don't want no bitter Nancy subscribe to my channel. We're gonna, we're going to heal and we're going to work through this, the ghetto-ness of singleness and we are gonna be okay. We are gonna be okay one day at a time, one date at a time, we are gonna be okay. <laughs> so here's to the journey and here's to going through the moving process all over again. And here's to no longer giving into the fear and being courageous enough to try somewhere new, something new, um, and being open-minded. So, cheers! I'm gonna catch up with you guys next Sunday. Bye! Mwah.